Do you want to learn how to make a basic animation like this? Well, then keep watching here on PS Technology Apps. Hello everyone, Adam Nick from Best uh, Technology Apps here and this is actually a follow-up video to the previous one where I showed you how you can make like incredible uh, thumbnails using the WoW Model Viewer and just Photoshop. So in this video we are gonna create just some simple animations to really get the basics of it going and for this we will use Camtasia St Studio because I think that is the most, well how should I put it, um, beginner friendly uh, software to actually do this. Some people use um, other software like After Effects and Sony Vegas to edit but I find them to be a bit too hard for beginners so I will do it in Camtasia and it is more than enough for these simple animations where you just want like the basics of a character shown. So we have our Kingslayer Orcus right here once again like in the previous video and we copy him into our, well let's just see, view NPC, it's been a time since I was in uh, WoW Metal Viewer but I should be able to remember it all. So we are gonna import him and dis display him right here. So we got our Kingslayer Orcus. Now I am gonna show you something like um, what I did in the previous video uh, in the end. Uh, some of you might have seen that. So we, we just want this guy to actually go in and stand on our, on our screen and just roar. That is uh, that is the goal here. So it is really simple. It really is. What you want to do is just if we want him to walk in on our screen, we want him to be on the side, of course, and then we want him to walk. So this is actually our first. Uh, well, <laughs> how should I say this? Uh, this is our first movement. Uh, which we want him to do so what you want to do is record him now I'm recording the video here on my screen so I'm just gonna import some of that and we will work with that alright so we are recording him here and what I like to do is just change the movement which he does because it will be well if you just click on the pause button he will still like do the movement and just stop it at some specific frame so we want him to just completely stand still so what we do is like we are actually animating it right now, so we are we have to be quick. We make him stand here and just turn him around, make it look like it's actually him doing it, uh, not just a mouse. But well, it might take a few tries. We're just gonna go with the first one we do, and we want him to just stand right here. And now we want to make something something different. Now this time. Uh, we are probably just gonna go with the raw uh, once again, so I'm not sure if yeah, it's it's better raw So we click on this and he he just does that uh, <laughs> Let's try emote raw instead uh, like that actually looks a bit cooler So we can edit all of this uh, when we get into the software We just want the movement right here so I think we have everything, so let's just jump um, jump into Camtasia here and import it all. So I will be back in a few seconds. Alright, so I'm back here and I imported just the important uh, part of it, uh, the part where we actually animated. So, first of all, we want to cut um, our, our footage here. So we click on the crop mode, well we just have to choose the footage actually, and click the crop mode and just crop it down. Now we want to make sure that all of him are in the picture at all times so just do a quick run through see if his hands get out of here uh, they don't seem to do that we may actually be able to do a bit more alright so for the next thing uh, we actually want to click on, click on the visual properties and we want to remove a color specifically we want to remove the background color and as you can see here that might not work as well as we thought it would so we are gonna go with it but I really recommend you to actually go and change the color to white if your character has a lot of white items like well just really light items you want to do the background um, black instead but as you can see our Kingslayer Orcus right here he has a lot of dark uh, items uh, equipped so we should have gone with a white background but I mean we don't want to do it all over again 
We're just gonna go with it. It's not gonna, gonna be that bad. Uh, it may actually uh, be better. <laughs> so, first of all, we want to cut out. We only want a few seconds of the walking. So, and we just want him to start out by walking. So, right here, we click on, I click on S, because that splits the footage in two. And we just want some walking right here. We actually want specifically to stop it uh, when we did so in the animation. So, oh, I actually think I fucked up here. So, let's just cut this down. So, what do we have? Let's see here. Uh, yeah, it's currently paused and... Oh, he didn't walk for a long time, actually. Well, I think I'm just trying it out here, actually. I think that's the whole point of it. So, let's just crop it. Or, well, cut it uh, one more time. And let it roll. So, he's walking. And in a minute, uh, we should click on the stand. Didn't we do that? Oh, he's walking for a long time, ain't he? Alright. That is actually really... Oh god, he is just walking for the whole fucking duration of this video. Uh, so we don't want uh, that much footage. So when I cut... First off, I split the footage by clicking, the clicking on S. And then I click on the control X to actually cut it. Um, because we don't want it. So he is walking in. Imagine he's walking in on here in the middle of the screen. And... And... And boom, stops, turn around. So let's just first of all get him moving in on the footage. So we click on the visual properties again, click add animation. And this is where it really gets easy actually. There is, it is so easy to animate in this program. So imagine that this whole animation, we, the, the program actually does it for us. So this is where he ends, which is in the middle of the screen, so we just want to keep him keep him there, but we need him to stand still when the animation stops. So when he's in the middle, that is when he stops moving. So we have to get the right frame right here, it seems like. This is where he is in the middle of the screen. So in the first part of the animation where does he stand he stands outside of the picture so we just move him out here and let it roll so now he is actually walking he is walking very slow and it doesn't fit him um actually the background is not ruining it at all the background looks really cool here i actually don't think it was a mistake so when he gets to the middle here he stops turns around bam all right so it might be a bit long we want him to walk a little bit faster actually so let's just see here um we might want to cut it here and just put it down here and he should be outside here so let's get this going see if oh that didn't help all right so we might want it to be this actually and still be sure to have him outside uh in the beginning oh i fucked up uh here we go all right so did he start inside the picture? No, he didn't. All right. So he's walking. Still a bit too slow uh, for me, at least. So let's just call... Oh, all right. We have removed a lot of footage here. But you don't need a lot of footage, actually. So this right here actually seems like a proper movement time. So he turns around. This is where we want to be cutting next. Now, it might look a bit fake with because we got all these uh, glowing effects. But we can't really do anything about it. Um, so let's get, just get to where the roar actually happened. It was in the last bit here. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh, he keeps doing it. So we just click on frames here until... Oh, it's the wrong uh, roar, isn't it? We chose a different... Yeah, here it is, here it is. So just finding the right frame here where he stands still just before he begins to roar right here so we remove all of this put this back here just zoom in get a nice view so he does cut you can see the video actually cuts but we can't really do anything about it oh god yeah we chose uh, the wrong time to actually use the roar uh, we want to use another roar you need to have the right roar <laughs> that is the golden rule Alright, so he roars, 
bam so we want to stop the footage right before he rolls once again so right here cut all this out and let's just see how it looks actually so we can actually get him to walk out again now we will actually take a look at that because that could be interesting but we would have to actually do that in the program as well you know what let's just let's get our footage down here once again so where does he begin to actually walk right here let's delete all of this and right here we actually we can see him walk out of the screen uh, just imagine that it will actually be nice I think so he turns around here slowly well the mouse is in the picture which is a big mistake but we didn't plan on doing so alright so once again we should probably be cropping the picture into here this is gonna be good it's gonna be really good alright so once again visual properties remove a color and well it is the same color so it's already defined so let's just go with it alright so we are gonna put it down here and just see if we if we can actually get it to work um, I am not sure if we can so right here yeah it just you can see it cutting but it really doesn't matter it is a basic animation it is a wow animation so fuck that um, so he's standing here you can act you can see the mouse it is a bit blurred out but I mean still so we wanted to cut right to when he walks out so let's just see here he stops he rotates and this is where we want to cut again when does he start walking right here so cut that get that in get that in there and add animation once again we want him to get out of the picture uh, completely so let's just in the start of the animation he's in here and in the end he is right out here so let's see how fast it is this time it's actually easier to get the time right so it is a bit too slow so just move it down here make the animation shorter uh, so yeah it seems a bit too slow still A bit too slow we want it to be uh, pretty fast actually um, so it doesn't get boring so yeah this might be better yeah stop the footage right there cut this so we have our animation let's take a look at it I'm going going to uh, go into full screen here and let's just see now the frames might be a bit messed up yeah we can't go into full screen um, we don't want to produce this uh, but we actually want to do something else with it and I will show that in a minute yeah let's just do it so you did see the animation at the start and we're gonna see it in the at the end too um, so we want to produce select no we would <laughs> no we don't we want to click on the add playhead selection to library add very nice so now it will be down here and when you edit your videos you will be able to go into the library and just click here let's just let let's actually remove this you can click on here and let's just rename it animation so you can click on that click add to timeline add playhead and it will be a nice here you can click on the plus and actually edit it but other than that it is really compact and easy to move and it will be here with all the animations so thank you very much for watching this video this was a follow-up to the previous one if you still haven't check checked that out please go and take a look at it it will be right here in the top corner so click on that and please do remember to give the video a thumbs up we will now roll the animation but before that i will just say i will see you all in the next video bye bye